Hi, everybody. Welcome to Spooktober with your girl, Sydney. We are getting spooky, obviously. It is October. It's time for these Halloween looks. And we are kicking it off with Tiffany, the Bride of Chucky. Yes, I have done her in the past. Um, I've never blocked out my brows for it. I've never had the proper wig for it. So I got this wig from Eva Hair. And they actually have me on their website quite a bit. I do use their wigs a lot. They are one of my favorite wig companies. This wig did come curly and I straightened it a little bit. You might see some curls poking through, but that is okay. Starting this look off right, we obviously have to block out our eyebrows, so I am using an Elmer's non-toxic purple invisible glue stick. Some of you guys have asked me to walk you through this a little bit more, so you just want to make sure you run that glue stick back a lot. You want to coat those hairs. Use a spoolie to lay it flat, and then I use my fingers and even go on top of it to make sure everything's flat. And I go over it a couple of layers with the glue stick, so I don't just do one layer, I do about two or three. Then after the glue is dried, I press on some powder. I'm using the Cupcake Easy Bake Powder from Huda here. You just press it into the eyebrows. And then to make sure they're really covered, I'm using a color corrector, just a peach toned or an orange toned one works. And you just want to dab that on top and cover it all. And then after that, you just put your foundation on top of it. No big deal, that's all there is to it. And then you just use water to take it off. It literally comes right off. Just put water on it, massage it, you're good to go. We're gonna prime our eyelids. I'm using my Urban Decay Eden Eyeshadow Primer Potion, of course. I'm putting it all over my eyelid and I'm even putting it on top of the brow a little bit just to conceal it a little bit more. Honestly, the more layers you put on the eyebrow, the more it's going to be covered. You just want to make sure you're not moving, um, you know, the hairs back and forth because we got them to lay flat. We want to leave them like that. I am using my Kat Von D Super Brow Pomade in dark brown, and I'm just outlining the brows that Tiffany has. They are very skinny. They are 90s brows, and they are arched a lot. I look at a reference picture. They are pretty dramatic but not very dramatic, you know what I'm saying? There's not a lot to them, but they give a lot of drama. Then to clean up the brows, because I want them to be super straight, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, as always. For my eyes, I'm using my Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. Yes, I love the oranges in this, and Tiffany's eyes are actually orange-toned. In the past, I've done purple-toned ones, and as I was researching more, I actually realized her eyeshadow is orange-toned. So I started with a light orange shade, went in the crease a little bit darker, and just built up the color and smoked it out a lot. And then I went in with my Basket Case Liner from Kat Von D, and I coated my whole lid. I wanted it to be super black on my lid. And then I took a black shadow, packed it on top, and started blending it up into my crease and adding the dark brown from the Violet Voss palette and black together and just kept building up until I got it in the crease and got it as dark as I wanted. You just want it to be like a seamless transition from black to orange. I also put that basket case liner in my waterline quite a bit before I did concealer or foundation. And I smoked it out quite a bit too. This just helps prevent too much creasing. I'm still going to smoke it out more after I do concealer, but for now, it's good. Using my NYX Pore Filler Primer, I'm going to put that on first. And then I'm going in with a very pale shade of the Kat Von D Lager Foundation, and I am just going to town. We want a very doll-like complexion, so the more full coverage, the more matte, the better. And I always blend it down my neck, too. Just another thing, especially if you're wearing this as a costume, it's good to blend it down the neck and even sometimes onto your chest. I'm using my Born This Way concealer from Too Faced, just a little bit underneath the eyes and then everywhere else as usual. Blend it all out. And then set it with some powder. I'm using my Huda Easy Bake Powder again. 
And then I'm going back in with the orange shades and the black shades and just really smoking out that under eye. She has it very dramatic where it almost looks like she has bags underneath their eyes. So I'm really going to town, especially in the inner corner as well. Don't be afraid to smoke it out too much. You can't do too much with Tiffany. Then I'm also tight lining my upper lash line. This is very important so your eyes are super dark, super smoky. I'm using my Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. It's the best. And for lashes, I'm doing some very, very dramatic false lashes. Dolls usually have the craziest lashes, so I decided to go crazy too. And for lashes, I always let the glue dry for about 30 seconds before popping them on. And I use these little tweezer things because they are way easier than using my fingernails. For contouring, I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I am doing more of a round contour on the cheeks there because Tiffany's cheeks are so big. And, you know, when she's a doll, she, she's got big old cheeks. So make it a little bit more round on the cheeks. And always contour your forehead when you're wearing a wig. It looks so much better, I promise. Also contouring the nose quite a bit. Like it's pushed up a little bit. And for blush, I'm mixing together this pink shade and this orange shade. It's from the Sigma Blush Palette. And I'm putting that right on the apples of my cheeks and blending that up. I wanted it to be pretty dramatic. Yes. Using my Dagger Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D, I am creating her beauty mark. Just do a little dot. Be careful, don't make it too big. And then use your beauty blender and just kind of dab it out a little bit so it looks more natural. And then for lips, I'm using my Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. I am using Potion first. And I'm just putting that all over my lips. It's a deep purple. And then I'm taking Trust Issues from Anastasia. I'm putting that right on top for some dimension. For her little ta uh, heart tattoo on her chest, I'm using a Ben and I red paint. I just drew a heart and then wrote Chucky above it with, and you can do it with an eyeliner, honestly. Super simple, super easy. She does have a knife going through it, but I just wanted to make it easy peasy. I didn't want to make it too crazy. But that's the end of my tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed. I'm sorry I'm losing my voice. I don't know what's going on. Please make sure you're subscribed so you can see the rest of my Halloween looks this season. I have a lot of looks coming. I'm so excited to show you. I hope you enjoyed my rendition of Tiffany. And I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.